Today we're going to have a look at something a little special. Um, this is a Mr. Jones watch, my first Mr. Jones watch, and uh, it was just released, uh, limited edition, 100 units, and it sold out uh, in the first two hours. And I think you can see why. It's very cool. It's um, called the Step Right Up, and it was designed by a comic book artist and uh, a guy that teaches comic book design and art uh, in America. This uh, Mr. Jones Watch is a London manufacturer. They do um, some pretty funky designs, all of which, well, most of which I might say are very hard to tell the time on, um, but they have a lot of cool factor and they're definitely art pieces uh, as you'll see when you see this one um, they've done a lot of limited editions well not a lot um, they've been around for years but they usually do their limited editions of a hundred and then they have some standard offerings as well it's beautiful uh, presentation comes with the it's sort of a hard cardboard box um, this outlay has the step right up instructions in it and uh, little bit about the artist Ryan Clayter um, and it basically says it was designed as a celebration of the carnival shooting gallery he's a, a game sort of guy and has been researching the history of games carnival games and other such games um, let me show you the watch it's, as I say very very nice presentation beautiful box with that kind of raised uh, printing, I think I can't remember what they call that printing, but it's like a um, a film that they a sort of a clear film that makes it shiny. There's the watch itself. Um, you know, this cool little box has that hole cut in the back that works with the packaging, so that you can see the design on the the, the watch case back, and it has the, the limited edition number. The watch itself. Very, very beautiful piece. Now, as I said, these these watches can be a little tricky to tell the time on. Um, the shooting gallery numbers that he's sort of shooting down are uh, at the time, so it's 11.05 by the two figures there. It's a small watch um, and <clears throat> quite dressy. It's got the, the leather band, obviously. Uh, it, it's made, I believe these bands are made for them by Hirsch. They have a, a logo, the Mr. Jones watch, printed on the clasp, the buckle. Um, but I believe Hirsch makes all the straps for Mr. Jones watches. These are very nice little quick release leather ones so it'd be easy to swap them out and then 19 millimeter as you can see oh yeah it's got the Hirsch Boston on it there artisan leather it says 18 there it does say 18 on it uh, I'll get the calipers out and we'll have a look at the size actually when you know th these things uh, they're not super expensive um around i think 200 to 250 pounds they go for um and well as i say you've got to get in quick so subscribe to their mailing list because um they do sell out pretty fast um but for the price you know i think that's brilliant value really um Given that they're such a limited edition, if you think about what value goes into a watch, you know, is it um, because it's got a, a history with you, um, some kind of point in your life where you bought the watch and it has memories or it's passed down by a grandparent or parent, you know, that'll have, that'll give it intrinsic kind of value um, or it's made out of gold or 
platinum or something or um or you just have brand awareness like rolex which you know fifteen thousand bucks for a few hundred dollars of materials um but certainly scarcity you know these things are a hundred that's all they're ever going to make you get eight hundred thousand rolexes per annum but obviously they've you know rolex is rolex it's got that brand awareness but um you, these things you know i think that you get a lot of bang for buck so where are we on the strap here we're Yeah, this is an 18 mil strap. Um, while we're there, I guess we'll do the overall dimensions. So 39 crown to crown, I think they'd probably call this a 38 mil watch size. I don't want to touch this thing because I don't want to scratch it. But yeah, we're, we're, we're about 38. Um, now, in, interestingly, I noticed it has a um, sort of double crown going on. It's got the actual setting crown, um, and then on the other side it has another crown. Focus camera. So, yes, yeah, interesting. It's um, the crown for setting is not signed. But it has a little crown on the other side as well, which is signed with the Mr. Jones watch logo. So I'm not really sure what that's about. Anyway, lovely watch. Thought I'd just give you a quick look at that. Um, you know, the the design is absolutely stunning. And uh, sorry about the focus dramas here. I think you can agree the. Um, It's absolutely beautiful. They hand color these dials, or hand paint them rather. Um, you know, there's only a hundred, so they can afford to do that. But um, they're also hand assembled in London. I'll put some movement details up as well. Anyway, that's just a quick look at the Mr. Jones watch. Step right up.